Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. And today we're going to talk about Dodge. What a shocker. What a surprise. We don't talk about Dodge very often, but today I think we're going to talk about Dodge because Dodge is a topic that you're all interested in and one that, boy, do we have a lot of controversy surrounding. And when I say Dodge, I include Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram in that conversation. Just know that that whenever I say Dodge, I mean all of them because they are all attached at the hip and there's no way around it. And we, we fell in love with Dodge because of the Hemi engine and in some of those other cars, there's Hemi. So the good news is, is that, that there might be hope for Dodge. Now, I think we all would agree that Dodge is the walking dead at this point. And it's not just hyperbole. It's not just me saying this because I'm mad at Stellantis for taking away the Hemi cars and the L cars. It's, that's not why. It's not because they're driving this electric agenda down our throats without any real say whatsoever. It's not because they are jamming these little hornet things down our throats and telling us that it's a Dodge when it's an Alfa Romeo and that it's a gateway to muscle. Check out my last video. I was actually nice about the thing, and I stand by that. But in the end, I don't like the thing. I don't like anything about it other than the fact that if I had to buy an ugly micro SUV, I hate to say it, but that'd be it. But there's no way in God's green earth you're going to catch me buying one of those things. And uh, right after I say that, I'm going to need a daily driver, and I'm going to buying something. And no, it's not going to be a Hornet. Wouldn't that be freaking hilarious? But no, it's not. It's not. Uh, you know, the reliability is in question for me. But anyways, let's talk about something I've been saying in almost every other video I've done, which is the only salvation for Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram is if someone rescues them from the clutches of the gargantuan evil Stellantis, which is, I think, reminiscent of the villain of any giant villain movie where there's this villain trying to take over the world and destroy it. And for all of us, that's Stellantis. Begin the unnecessarily slow moving dipping mechanism. Now I did a video like four years ago where I said, Hey, no big deal that Stellantis bought Dodge. They're not going to buy it and destroy it. Well, I was wrong. Now they kept it going for a while, but then they lost their way, and Carlos Tavares decided to declare complete and utter war on anyone and everyone who's ever loved a V8 in a Dodge or any of these fun cars, and he wants to turn it into this Mambi Pambi Latte Mocha Choca Frappuccino type car that none of us want. Are you not aware that I get farty and blooded with a foamy latte? And I don't eat tofu, I'm not gonna start eating tofu. So here's the deal, I don't want it, you don't want it, but then what's gonna happen? Well, let's talk about what is happening. What is happening is Dodge can't sell any of their cars. Stellantis isn't helping Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram sell any of their cars. They're even walking back on incentives, which is leaving their dealers out to dry they're just literally hanging out there and have no way of getting through this and while i want to feel very sorry for the dealers part of me thinks they deserve it because all the ridiculous stuff they did to us this last five years during the pandemic and now you can find some of the gms saying well we shouldn't have done that we should have had foresight we should have thought thought about the years to come and the relationships we're building with our customer base now now, you can't say that now. You can't say that now after doing all that because here's my next response is, all good, go ahead and pull your customer list. I know you have it. Go to your CFO and say, tell you what, cut a check back to everyone who's ever paid a markup this last three or four years on any of these cars and cut the check back to them. It seems like the easiest thing in the world to do, but are they going to do it? No. So back to Stellantis, they're leaving the Dodge dealers out to dry, and they're going to jam these EVs down their throat. They've already jammed the Hornets down their throat, and they don't know what to do to get rid of these damn cars. And now they're not even jamming enough incentives at the dealers to try to move these things and get people to buy them. And there's a huge wave of electric Daytonas on their way in the next 60 to 90 days that are going to be flooding the lots. 
So what's the outcome for Dodge? I would say they're toast. Ram, they're toast. They're coming out with a truck with a generator in the front and it's electric. Can you imagine how much that thing's gonna weigh? Seems like a great idea, right? A four cylinder generator in the front that's gonna get you 600 plus miles in the truck. I don't know about you all, but I never bought a truck hoping I can get great gas mileage. I bought a truck to pull stuff. It's the only reason. I was pulling boats, I was pulling motorhomes, I was pulling trailers, I was pulling cars, I was yanking stuff out of the ground. That's why I bought trucks. I didn't buy trucks to get 600 miles for the tank, so I don't know how that's going to come out with this Ram. But everything they seem to be making appears to be definitely taking away from any ability for us to tow our stuff or do big work with these trucks. So... I think Ram's in trouble too. Of course, Chrysler's down to a minivan, two versions of the minivan. And then Jeep, Jeep is just flooding. You look at any parking lot, there's more Jeeps. There's enough Jeeps there to last forever. They should be doing two for one deals right now. But I do like the Jeeps and I think the Jeeps have a place in the world and I can't imagine they would blow that up. But that may be the only thing that they can sell at any given time after they screw everything else up. So then what's gonna happen? What if Dodge... Chrysler Jeep Ram just continues to bleed Stellantis to death. Well, if you watch the news this last month, the Chinese came in and tried to buy Alfa Romeo. And Carlos Tavares got up and he said, no, it is the jewel of our brands. Yet you can't sell any cars. So here's the deal. We've got a man who is so delusional that he actually believes that Alfa Romeo, the worst selling brand I believe that they have, Dodge is going to catch them if they're not careful, they can't sell them. They've been failing in America, yet they keep coming back over and over and over again. And we keep saying, we don't want this thing. It doesn't work here. We don't want Alfa Romeo. We don't want your Fiat junk. It's not something that's ever going to sell. So one of their worst selling brands, he says is the jewel. And he flat out said, we are not selling Alfa Romeo to you. We're not going to do it. It's too important. Cool. But what do you think's got to be driving him crazy? is that these damn Dodges can't sell either. So if he's so in love with that Italian brand that he can't get rid of it, but he he hates Dodge, he hates the Americans, it's obvious, he's laying them all off right now, then what do you think he might be open to selling? Now, I'm just throwing this out there as a what if. What if he was open to selling it? Well, who would buy it? Well, I've been beat up in my comments section, geez, for months now. Every time I say it wouldn't be the first time uh, an automaker was brought back to life by someone else. Well, I've had people comment and say, when? Name some time. So then I had to go Google, which all of you have, and go ahead and list a whole bunch of them. Like Land Rover was dead. Land Rover got passed around from BMW to Ford and ultimately ended up owned by an Indian company called Tata. And I've got a Indian car in my driveway, a Land Rover Defender, and I don't care. I don't care. I mean, where, if it was built in, in England or, or, or Great Britain or the UK or it was built in India, it's still a piece of shit. It still breaks all the time, but my wife loves it, so hopefully she can't hear me talking right now. But it doesn't matter where it was built. It is what it is. She likes the car. So then you've got companies like MG. Remember MG? I believe that was a, a good old English brand. Chinese owns that as well. How about Volvo? Volvo, the most, the safest car in the world. What was it? Swedish or something? Volvo? I don't even remember what they were. Guess what? Chinese. So who is going to buy Dodge? Well, I'll tell you right now, if Stellantis is looking for a buyer at any given time, I'm going to bet this happens. It wouldn't be the first time. Let me show you something. All right, so here's the article where Stellantis boss rejects Chinese offer to buy one of its French brands. And he says it is the Alfa Romeo. And he says, as far as them abandoning Italy, it's fake news. And he goes in and he's just straight up. They are not going to sell it. I wish I could find the spot where he says it is the jewel. It is the jewel of our brands. So you you got to be kidding. Anyways, here it is. It took me less than one second to say, are you kidding me? Alfa Romeo is possibly the greatest jewel we have in our powerhouse of 14 iconic brands. Of course I said no. So how hilarious is that, that he would, he would actually believe this considering. So bottom line is, he's not doing this. But then we go over to, to some older articles. 
So Geely says it's not looking to buy Fiat Chrysler, but what you've got to look close on this article is if we could just go back in time, look at the FCA logo, and this was back in August of 2017. So the rumors were out there that the Chinese were interested in buying Chrysler, Fiat Chrysler, which would have included Dodge and Ram and Jeep, and they didn't do it. And when you read the article, it came in, they said, they said it wasn't big enough for them to do at the time. Well, at this point, the Chinese are making massive headway with this big EV push, and the Chinese are buying other companies, which now you would never think were big enough back then, but today they're not big companies. So you look at Volvo, MG, whoever in the hell LDV is, but then you go to Lotus. Lotus. So the Chinese now owns Lotus, which I believe was a uh, was an English English brand as well. So here's the deal. Lotus, never known for reliability, pretty much always known to be really cool looking pieces of crap back in the what the 80s and 90s. But now that they're Chinese owned, this is one of the greatest cars out there. Check this out. I'll show you the Lotus Amira. This is, they've sold out for like two years of this car. I mean, it's one of the hottest cars to ever hit the ground running. It's a Chinese car, Lotus logo on it, the Amira. And this thing is downright insane. It is a supercar with supercar performance. Supercar looks for sure. Performance, if you're, if you're doing cornering and stuff like that. But bottom line is you can tune this thing because it's got a Toyota engine in it a toyota camry tuned engine in it which means you can tune this thing to the moon and it's going to last forever and this thing is now i think for a hundred grand you can get a car that looks as good as like people are calling this like the 488 ferrari look alike i mean look at it it just it's insane but it's chinese and people do not care they do not care and the article is going back to 2017 when these rumors were out there pretty much confirm this, that no one seems to care. And I'll tell you right now, one way to get us not to care is to say, well, would you like for Chinese to own Fiat Chrysler or would you like Stellantis? Well, we know what it's like with Stellantis. We don't know what it would like be like with the Chinese, but I can tell you at this point, I don't know. Call me un-American, yell at me in the comments, but the bottom line is they've done nothing but good things for this Amira. So if the Chinese get their hands on it, hell, even the Volvo is a freaking great car. So what What in the hell? Why wouldn't I? After what Stellantis has done, how about Stellantis? You just sell that, that brand to the Chinese. If there's no Western U.S. buyers showing up to the table, then someone's going to have to show up to the table. So I'm going to make a prediction on this channel right now that we are probably too years away from the Chinese owning Fiat, or not Fiat, but owning Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. And if that happens, we're going to come back to this video and you're going to call me a genius. And yes, that sucks. People are saying that sucks. It's it's an American car and that's not right that that would, that, that, that would happen. Wait a minute. Pretty much every EV that you're buying right now, regardless of what, what country it's built in is full of Chinese parts, okay? It, despite where where a car is built, I don't think it really matters if it's assembled in Brampton and the engine's built in Mexico and uh, other parts are assembled in, you know, Michigan. I think in the end, where a car is made anymore, as much as we would all love them to be built here, no offense to UAW, but I think they've, they've created a situation where it's just so expensive to do business in America that at this point, you know, no wonder, no wonder they're going through what they're going through. And believe me, that sucks because I'm an American and I believe in them. I want to support them. But at this point, they just can't build cars, be competitive when the rest of the world's building everywhere else. And if the Chinese get their hands on, on Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram, let me tell you something about the Chinese. They know how to build stuff for cheap. They know how to build stuff reliably and for very cheap. So whether you like the Chinese or don't like the Chinese, if Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram end up under Chinese control, you better believe they're going to bring back a V8, just like Toyota runs a big, huge V8 in some of their trucks. They're going to run back a V8 in, and they're going to also launch a whole boatload of, of you know Chinese EVs, and they're going to be able to sell us the cool stuff because they're, 
if there's any shock or surprise, they're in it for the market share, they're in it for the money, and they're in it for the global takeover. And I'll tell you right now, there's a lot of money that, that Stellantis is throwing away by throwing away Dodge with every single action that they take right now. And it's terribly, terribly sad. So to wrap up this video, I'm not saying I hope the Chinese get it. I am saying I hope that Stellantis sells it. I hope they agree at some point and just say, well, we want to keep Alfa Romeo. That's cool. You keep it. By the way, nobody wants it. Really, I don't think the Chinese even want it. I think they'd be better off buying, buying Dodge. They'd be better off buying anything. Screw Alfa Romeo. But I'll tell you right now, if they did buy Alfa Romeo, we'd probably get some really cool cars, kind of like the Lotus Amira, that would be priced much better and be significantly better quality and much better looking. But, you know, Carlos Tavares is going to keep that because it's the jewel of his, what, 14 brands or whatever it is. So could the Chinese end up owning this iconic American brand? And what do you think they would do it if they got a hold of it? And I think no matter how we want to cut it, folks, no matter how you feel about this, and some of you are going to say, well, that really makes me done with Dodge. Find me a real 100% American company. When you've got Ford building stuff that's heavy Chinese, every single electric vehicle being built by any company in America is full of Chinese batteries and Chinese parts. Look, we could talk about politics all day long, but leaving that aside, just cutting that out, I'm over Stellantis. At this point, I'd take a, I'd take a roll of the dice with the Chinese. Hell, I'd roll the dice with Tata, even though they can't build a car like our Land Rover that doesn't break all the time. No offense, honey, even though it's been in the shop probably with three times already. We've had it for two months, but I would be okay with that. Give me back my Hemi. Give me back something that's cool and don't jam these EVs down my throat. They're not going to sell and Dodge is going to be screwed even worse. Dealers are going to start going out of business. Franchises are going to start folding and we're going to see that I think Stellantis is going to have to do something with this brand. They're going to have to sell it off to somebody and I'll tell you the first buyer out there is going to be the Chinese. So hopefully some American company will step up and buy it and revive it and bring it back to life, which frankly would be my ultimate wish and dream. But the Chinese are buying everything. So we may have a Chinese Dodge Challenger. Stay tuned for that one, folks. That's our future. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to make that prediction today. With that, everybody, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.